Hello, welcome to my fourth devlog. Today we're going to look at the whole structure of this game and some changes on the enemy's behavior. So let's start with the main room. This is the main room where a player can choose a map that they want to play. And uh, as you can see, everything is just a prototype. We'll have to work on that very soon. Um, before I get into the map selection, we had some major update on the whole concept of this game. Um, in the beginning, we were planning on creating an RPG game. We had so many things that we wanted to try, but uh, this is a three-month project. And as the time goes by, it seemed impossible to get it all done. <clears throat> so we decided to stick with one concept one concept and that is don't push this button um, we got the idea from guardians of the galaxy where group tries to set the bomb um, it's not a new concept but we thought it would be fun and simple to play in VR so here how here's how we're gonna do it the player chooses a map gets in and get to the button get to the button as fast as they can since the time will be the score and when they find the button they push it uh, this is the whole concept there will be enemies and obstacles along the way so this is a game this game is a puzzle based strategy action game i don't know how to put it but um that's that and Enough with talking, and let me show you how map selection works. <clears throat> so, here we have a ball, which is a planet, and you can place it. And you can spin it, pick another one, and place it. So when we were thinking how we should approach this way of selecting a map, we thought this would be more fun in VR than, you know, those laser point selection because it's more interactable. And it's, it's just you don't need any instructions. You just do it. If you place a map underneath the light, then you can get this big preview of the whole map. And you can kind of see where the button is and where the enemies are at and find the best way, the fastest way to get to the button. You can see there's, oh, I didn't place a button. You can see the many enemies. We have, there's total three. Okay, now since we selected the map, let's see how the enemy's behavior changed. Okay, now the game started, and as you can see, the time is passing. And before I start, I'll briefly explain the behavior process of the enemies. There are three states, idle, guard, and combat, and it has uh, priorities. Combat will be above all other states. So if an enemy finds a player, it will stop what it was doing and chase the player. Guard is uh, patrolling an area, and idle is just idle. Oh, he's walking kind of funny, but... And if he finds me, he will start chasing after me. One thing that has changed is that he is aware of the environment around him. So if I push him back and hide... um. Um, how do I? I killed him? Here we have Bean. She's a orc, I believe. And she, th she throws axes, but she's really bad at it. Just like me. So if I... If 
I go really fast and hide here, she will still be able to navigate the way and find me. Let's move on. Um, so the last one, we're going to look at a uh, skelly with a pointy rock. And yeah, he he stab he will stab the player. I tried to make the the stabbing motion more realistic, but this was the best I could do. Yeah. Okay. This is the button that you the player would push. If I push it, the time will stop, and I'll return back to the main room where the where you can select the map and as you can see we have the best we just got the record the best time and the last time um that's it for this video i hope you liked it and the next video will be about the environment the maps thank you for watching